All right, guys, this is totally random, but I'm vlogging at my local Walmart right now, and guess what I found? A Rubik's Squish Cube? That's crazy. And the timing could not have been any worse because I uploaded my big unboxing video like last week. So I guess let's head back to the studio and actually unbox this thing. All right, so we're back. It's been about a week since I filmed the beginning, so let's crack into this, John. All right, the colors look great on this thing, but the big question is, do it squish? I mean, it kind of do, but do it also turn? It does turn, but it's also really slow. This cube's turning though is low-key worst case scenario. All right, so this is what an edge looks like. Here's a corner, and the internals inside function the same as the average Rubik's Cube. There's no way I can lubricate this without ruining the outside. And this cube does lock up, like, pretty bad sometimes. This cube did have the right idea, but form did not meet function. You know, I wonder if this is WCA legal. You know what's funny about this cube is that you technically don't need a mat to protect its fall. A few moments later. Though the solve was rough, I do enjoy that this cube is near indestructible. And if you're into novelty items, this is a must for you. Though you can't turn this as well as a normal Rubik's Cube, it's still fun to hold and look at. But that just about wraps up today's unboxing video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Dean of Daniel, signing off.